What is good, Storm fans? I am Brent Cook, and today we're playing High Tide Time Spiral Combo, affectionately known as Spiral Tide here in Legacy, with a brand new card from March in the Machine, The Aftermath. I'm talking about Filter Out, a three mana instant for one blue blue, return all non creature, non land permanents to their owner's hands. Why is that good? Well, traditionally, decks like this would play a card like Cunning Wish to answer permanents out of the sideboard. Cunning Wish may or may not be as competitive as it once was in its, you know, golden era of this deck. Three mana to go get a card from your sideboard is a lot of mana to answer something like a Thalia Guardian of Thraben or Chalice of the Void, etc. And then on top of that, you have to go get your answer and then you have to cast it on the following turn and have the mana to win. It's just a lot. Well, when you play something like Filter Out, it answers every non-creature as the card says. So... You can maybe use it as a combo piece, and by that I mean using it in conjunction with Candelabra of Taunos. In paper, this card is incredibly expensive, but on Magic Online, it's three tickets. So that's much more affordable. So for a uh, one mana artifact, you pay X and tap it, untap X lands. So that means that you can bounce all of your candles with filter out so that way this just became an extra untap effect in your deck which is pretty interesting and when you have multiple candles it makes even more mana than something like a turnabout even would which is pretty sweet on top of that you can draw cards with dress down so you cast dress down you pick up dress down you cast it again you draw two cards off this card yeah it's mana intensive but we're a high tide deck sometimes in the mid combo you have tons of extra mana and I mentioned how Filter Out says non-creature. Well, Dress Down covers creatures. So now you have an, you know, an instant in your deck that covers everything but creatures, and then enchantment that can trips and answers creatures. So we have built-in ways into our deck that means that we don't need something like Cutting Wish. Because of that, we do have main deck Brain Freeze and Blue Sun Zenith to win the game. Those are our two win conditions. And as I mentioned, we're a high tide deck. All of our lands will tap for an additional blue. We untap them with Time Spiral, Turnabout, and then Candelabra. And then from there, we have cards like Ponder, Preordain, Brainstorm, all the, you know, find and cast our Time Spiral. And then Merchant Scroll is sort of the blue demonic tutor in this deck. And the sideboard, Leyline of the Void is just the most effective way of beating Reanimator and decks like Oops All Spells. We have Force and Negation for other combo decks, Echoing Truth and Dressed On for Prison slash Permanent Hate decks. And then I'm not so sure about the Hope of Gear Purse. It's a card I personally love. But when you're running the Filter Out deck, you can't play anything like Defense Grid because there's a chance that you would bounce it. And that doesn't really work. And one of the nice things about Hope of is that it dodges Flusterstorm and Pyroblast and other cards that people would play to beat this deck. And I think that's sort of why this card makes sense to me. At least that's what I'm hoping for. So that's my deck tech. I hope you enjoy it. I truly think Filter Out might have been what this deck has been looking for the entire time. Stick around. Find out. I'm sure I'm going to cast it a ton. I'll see you in the first match. Don't go anywhere. And as always, comments, questions, suggestions go down below. Thanks again. And uh, let's head on over to match number one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, early access to videos, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us like theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicsroom.com slash donation decks that's enough for now let's play some magic welcome to match number one we're on the draw and i have no clue what our opponent's playing i'm going to keep once upon a time reveals wasteland i have some bad news for you friend i am a deck full of basics chalice of the void on one okay so uh that filter out seems like it's going to get some use we'll play basic past the turn okay so they did nothing there. We draw land three. Merchant scroll. Let's go grab the filter out. The issue is that we're so far away from winning. Like incredibly far away. They grab a dryad arbor. Savannah. Natural order. Okay. Arcana Valor's Reach. 
What a hateful uh, deck we're facing here. Okay. I mean, we can still win this, though. That would have been a good card to draw last turn. Okay. So they attack for five. They play the Wasteland. Four mana. Another Chalice of the Void on one. Sure. And a Sylvan Library. Brain Freeze. That doesn't help. I need land five. They go to nine life. They play basic forest. We'll take five again here. I'll go down to ten life. Chromox. Exiles a Troxa. And there's an Elvish Spirit Guide. All right, Doc, I really need a land. Like, pretty badly here. So, let's see one. Draw. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to do this now. Go to clean up, discard a Fluster Storm. We had to find land five and we missed. Not being able to cast any of our cantrips, this game is hurt. Chalice of the Void on two. I'm good to pick it up. We can go to the next game. There's no point in showing them dressed down as a possible answer. We're definitely interested in the Echoing Truths and additional dress downs. We do not need Fluster Storm. That can get out of here. Maybe we'll shave one Preordain. Let's try this. Game two on the play. Sure. Keep. No force of will. Or answer to Chalice of the Void. I think I'm going to bottom both of these. Okay. They imprint a natural order. Chalice of the Void on one. Yep. Time Spiral. That was a good one. Merchant Scroll. Grab a filter out. They have three mana. Choke. That's brutal. Okay, so I just need to draw another land. There's Tide. That was a decent draw, but I still need a land. Wasteland. Chalice of the Void for two. Filter out beats all this, assuming I can draw a third land. There we go. A Dryad Arbor. Okay. Lands for days. They play a Wooded Foothills and immediately use it. Six mana. Green Sun Zenith for X equals six. We're going to respond to this. Because this is going to get the Archon of Valor's reach. Filter out. Okay, you can now go and get your Archon. Sure. And they name instant. Okay, we'll fetch. Grab Mystic Sanctuary. We'll put Merchant Scroll on top. Yes. Dress down. So this will trigger and we'll draw a card. We can now high tide. Target ourselves. I guess I didn't need to put the Merchant Scroll there. Eh. We can still do something with it here. Land. Untap. I can go grab another tide. Our islands tap for so much mana. Spiral. Untap the lands. Let's preordain. We find another time spiral. I think we want both of these. Play the dress down. Candelabra. Untap our lands. So much mana. And now we can filter out. Play candle. Untap again. We'll cast Dress Down. Storm is at 12. Draw a card. Dress Down again. Draw a card. High Tide. This should do it. Um, I guess I can Brain Freeze them and see if that does it. 16 times 3 is 48. Sweet. Alright, we stole game number 2. Hit Submit. Alright, we will keep... Riot Arbor. Spiral was a good one. Let's ponder, see if we can find a Force of Will or a High Tide. We found High Tide. Okay. Turn to Choke Off of an Elva Spirit Guide. Yeah, you got it. Pass the turn. I'm trying to remember what the third card down was. I don't think it was a land. Trinisphere. Wow. Okay. So I have to draw another land. Draw. 
was not a land. I think it was actually another ponder. I mean, I drew one anyway, but... Built her out looking very good here if I can just draw land number four. Sylvan, sure. Come on, deck, please give me that land. Draw. No such luck. Discard a ponder. Ancient tomb. Six mana. Chalice on three. So they have the answer to filter out. And now we draw the land. That's so brutal. We'll pass. I mean, theoretically, we can beat this. We just need more lands. Green sun for six. That's going to be for an Archon. I think we just lost. Yeah. I never drew force. Like, any of the three games. Like, there's force of will in my deck. You could argue that maybe I was supposed to board in force of uh, negation. But... I don't know. Like at some point, you're, I think you're overboarding. We had four dress down, filter outs, echoing truths, and we just never drew anything. Yeah, they have me here. Not a great start, uh, but this is also like not a deck you should expect to run into, so I'm not going to take it personally. It's just a match of magic. So four more rounds left. I'm sure we're going to crush those. Stick around and find out. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. All right, time to win on the play. The uh, the Choke Chalice Trinisphere deck is out of our bracket. And uh, now we're just going to win out. That's what's going to happen. Got to stay positive. The Yorian Sky Nomad has been revealed. Well, I will keep this. Blooded Strand, pass the turn. Misty. Scalding Tarn. I'll pass back. Wasteland. Collector Roof, which awkwardly does shut off my Candelabra here. Uh, yeah, that happens. And I draw another candle. Ugh. Okay. Where's a dress down when you need one? They play a Caracas. Sure. Draw. Preordain. We'll fetch. Probably doing this three times. Just so that way our scries are a little bit better. Reardane. I think I want to top both of these and then we'll ponder. Yeah, this is great. No. And then next turn I want the extra fluster storm. And on our or on our end step, the opponent casts a brainstorm. The opponent plays a Nissa, sure. You've got it. Okay. They have three cards in hand, which means I can probably fetch away the fluster storm. I just don't need that anymore. Okay. So let's go grab another island. And now we're going to try to win. Cast a high tide. Mystic Sanctuary. Put high tide back on top. Yes. Cast for two. We'll ponder. Draw the high tide again. Cast the high tide. And Time Spiral, floating three, and if they have Forceful here, I can Fluster Storm it. Okay, untap our lands. Let's cast another High Tide, so our lands not tap for four. We'll Brainstorm. Put the Candle back on top, we just don't need that. Merchant Scroll. Guess we'll grab a Blue Sun Zenith, why not? Target ourselves. We need to leave at least six mana floating. Okay, we'll draw ten. A force of will, we will force will back. May I draw 10? We will merchant scroll, we'll go grab our turnabout. Target ourselves. Land, untap. Now we'll high tide a few more times. Brainstorm. Put these spare lands back on top. And then let's preordain those lands to the bottom. Another filter out. Preordain. We'll keep the ponder. Cast the ponder. We'll shuffle that. Cast a brainstorm from 19 into triple land. 
They're at 66 cards in deck. So we're pretty close to Brain Freeze winning the game here. Cast another Brainstorm. It's from 21. I'm sorry, uh, it's from 20. Do I want to show them that the candle mattered? I don't think I do. Filter out. And then Brain Freeze for exact. Sweet. I think we can side down to one filter out and I'll bring in one more dress down. Let's try this. Actually, I kind of want to try Hope of Gearper here. Maybe it's bad against the Collector Roof deck, though. Two Preordains, and I think I actually want to board out the Sanctuary. Our opponent has kept seven. Meanwhile, our hand doesn't do a whole lot. It does have lands and spells, though, and I think you're, when you're playing this deck, you're supposed to just keep hands with lands and spells. Tropical Island, sure. Spiral was a good draw. Let's cast the Ponder. Sweet. Pass the turn. They main phase a brainstorm. Prismatic Vista for a basic forest. Oom bop. I won't, I'll spare you. I won't sing the rest of that song. Birds of Paradise bop. I'm sure you get it. All right, so we're going to fetch so that if they counter the merchant scroll, we're not drawing a third one. Pass the scroll. Grab Force of Will. We'll pass. Three mana for a Nissa. That's fine. Okay, so the Nissa will trigger and make a green by you. So this likely means that they have Leovold somewhere. And they mill until. There's the Leovold. Okay. Hmm, what to do? I think I'm supposed to exile the Merchant Scroll because I didn't board in any targets for the Merchant Scroll that answer Leovold. They force back. I'm not surprised by that. Yep. We have three dress downs we need to find. It was not a dress down. They play Abundant Growth. And now their Nissa will trigger again. Endurance. They play the Endurance. Okay. So now they're attacking for six. I'm actually running out of time. I need to draw the dress down immediately. Grist. Sure. What I would do for a dress down. Let's see it. Draw. Brutal. So they have 10 damage in play. So I can blue sun zenith on their end step for one. That's 10 damage coming in and I'll go to two. Nissa again. Green sun for five. I mean this probably kills me. I don't know what it would be but. Collector roof sure. All right dress down pretty please. Blue sun zenith for one. And it was dressed down. Okay, let's party. High tide. Play dress down. Draw a card. I will now play the candle. Untap five lands. And spiral, baby. That was uh, not our best time spiral. Storm's only four, so this brain freeze is pretty far away from being, you know, useful. Okay, we'll brainstorm, praying for a miracle. Those go on top. I'll freeze targeting myself for one. And then the rest can go at them. Let's preordain. These can both go on the bottom. Another candle's not bad. Let's ponder. None of these really help me. I think we have to shuffle this. It's all down to dress down. Okay. Time spiral, I am looking for you. Okay, draw, no dice. So that was a bummer. Looks like our opponent's deck isn't as interactive as I thought, so I'm going to take out the Hope of Gear Purse and bring the Preordains back in, and then the fourth copy of Dress Down. I still am not super sure about the Mystic Sanctuary. Maybe I'll shave one candle for it. On the play for game three. I guess so. Ponder. I think I'm actually going to shuffle this. Like, I don't really want any of those. Like, I want the land, but that would be it. Gloucester Storm. Noble Hierarch. Another Merchant Scroll. Grab a Brainstorm. Like, I need to fix this hand up. They play an Abundant Growth. And they're keeping open the Noble Hierarch. Brainstorm. And we missed. 
All right, uh, I'm going to get rid of one force of will in this merchant scroll. Ponder, shuffle. Ay, ay, ay. Face Fang Quaddle. Yep. Collector Roof is fine. We have two candles in our deck. I'm not going to fight over a Collector Roof, especially when I have four copies of Dress Down. Draw a. Alright, but let's brainstorm first to see if I draw a Fetch Land. I did, in fact, draw a Fetch Land. I don't really want the filter out. I think we can. Maybe I want to keep. No. All right, I'll put that on top for now. I need to find time spiral at this point. Storm is one. They attack for three. We'll go to fifteen. And our upkeep will fetch with the flooded strand because we don't want to draw force of will. Draw for turn. Another high tide. Let's attempt to brainstorm. Put back the force and a land. Merchant scroll. Am I supposed to bank on another brainstorm? Okay. Endurance, you've got it. They target no one. So now they're attacking for six. Okay, so now they're representing lethal. So we probably have to find time spiral here. We'll put ponder on top. Yes. Okay, it's now or never. I tied. I tied. Well, let's ponder. That's a quick shuffle for us. And there's Spiral. Perfect draw. Nine mana. Let's cast the Time Spiral. Force of Negation. I will cast a Fluster Storm. Spiral. They have two cards in hand at the moment. They force. Oh, Fluster again. I don't want to exile the Brainstorm. I guess you could argue that maybe I'm supposed to force pitching force so that way I don't redraw a fluster. Time spiral. Storm is eight. Uh oh. I could switch phases to ent empty one mana out of their pool, but then I would lose one as well. Let's preordain. Neither of those get the job done. Switch phases. Really banking on this ponder. Storm ten. So I could Merchant Scroll for Blue Sun Zenith. Our land sat for three, so it's not even like it would draw that many. I could also Merchant Scroll for Brainstorm and Prey. That might just be the line. These tap for three, right? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. Merchant Scroll. All right, Brainstorm. Please be good. Awkward. High Tide. So they're at 61 cards right now. No, I can't make that much mana. Or can I? These have for four. All right, I'm going to hold priority on a brainstorm. And then I'm going to brain freeze them. I'll brain freeze myself for one. And then target them with the rest. Okay. We really want to hit like turnabout with this brainstorm. Uh, Merchant scroll for turnabout would also work. So we're brain freezing ourselves with this last copy to mill the two islands that are on top of the deck. And I mill the time spiral. That stinks. All right. Brainstorm. We hit the merchant scroll. We'll put back the misty and filter out. Pass the merchant scroll. Does turnabout actually work here? <laughs> I guess that's another question. I think so, but I'm not actually sure. Target myself. Loading four. Land, untap. So we need to make them draw 19. All right, X is currently 19. I lose to another endurance. I'm just going to do it for 20. Hold on. I could ponder first. Another high tide would be a guarantee. But if I miss, then I have no protection for the blue sun. But I could target myself. I'm going to ponder. Uh-oh. And Merchant Scroll, what does that get? This gets High Tide. Okay. So now they all tap for 5, so this is 25. This is perfect. How about you draw 20? They Force of Will will Fluster Storm. I might time out. <laughs> and they concede. Yes! Wow, what a nail-biter. 3 minutes, 16 seconds left on clock.
insane. We are officially one in one. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Match three on the play. Yeah, hand is great. We will fetch, grab a basic, and cast ponder. Keep, 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 keep. Buy you, is this elves? Ah, uh, blue zenith again. Okay. Let's try to find a high tide here. Ponder. Candle's interesting, but we just have to find High Tide first. There we go. Ponder. And now we'll keep the candle. Pass. And there's a Brainstorm. There's our candle. So I could go High Tide, Candelabra, untap our lands into Spiral. But I think I'm going to be, just be a little bit more patient and wait for the next land drop. We know the top card of our deck is another land. You can have an Ice Fang Quaddle. I do not care. The Fairy Time Raveler, that is one I am not allowed to let resolve. Force of Will, Exiling Brainstorm. They have five in hand. So if I play High Tide, this is six mana. Candelabra will cost four to untap, so I'd have two floating. This goes up to eight mana, so I don't have enough mana to spiral plus force. I kind of feel like if they had something, they might have fought over the Teferi, but I could be wrong. The issue is if they just green some Zenith for Leovold, I'm kind of done. So I'm going to try the High Tide. And they're moving. Brainstorm in response. High Tide. Candelabra. That's an F6. Okay. Spiral floating three. High Tide. High Tide. Turn about targeting me. Land. Untap. Cast a dress down. Draw. Alright, let's hope they didn't draw force of will. Time spiral. And that resolves. Cast brainstorm. They must have drawn a force here. They unhit F6. Ponder. Shuffle. High tide. Ponder. I guess we'll ponder again. We have enough mana, we're looking at the third card down has some value. Plus increased storm count. So if I take the dress down, I draw a filter out. I can cast dress down two more times. I think it sees a fresh card if I take this. I know it makes a bunch of mana with the candles. Okay, so now we'll draw the filter out. Candelabra. Untap our lands. And now we'll filter out. So as you see here, I'm, the filter out is draw two plus double untap effect. We'll cast the dress down, which draws the fetch land on top, and then the second dress down will see a new card. Storm is 19. And it was another land. Okay. So many candles. Time Spiral floating 34 mana. I will fluster storm your force of will. And Time Spiral is back on the stack. Ay, we're all in on a ponder at this point. I don't love that. Ponder? Which looks at another ponder. We might as well do that. Okay. Come on, Doc, pretty please. Puridane. I guess Puridane is slightly better. Because I I get a random draw off the ponder anyway, but Puridane guarantees that two lands are on the bottom. It's all up to this Puridane. On the bottom, on the bottom, we fizzled. Heartbreaker. Our dress downs go goodbye. I mean, we are set up to go off again, assuming I can draw a time spiral. Or a blue sun zenith. Ending happens, I'm not going to fight over those. And they ponder. The fairy time raveler. I will exile turnabout? 
They force back this time, and I will fluster. They have another force. Okay. Sure. They bounce my candle. Draw for turn. This would have won the game <laughs> if this was the draw last turn. Um, let's merchant scroll. Grab brainstorm, I guess. Cast it. That was stinky. The one upside here is that I can go get Mystic Sanctuary and get back Merchant Scroll next turn. Or we can get Ponder or Preordain or something. They have two cards. Mystic Sanctuary. Get back. I'm just going to grab Ponder. Yes. Let's cast the Ponder. Okay. Let's fetch Ponder again. I will not shuffle. Brainstorm. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Um, that was a little awkward. Yeah, that was definitely a misclick. Whoops. I wanted I wanted to click a force of will. I wanted to keep one. They attack for two. Giving them a lot of time here. And to fairy. I tied. I tied. Candelabra. Okay. Untap our lands. Attempt to filter out. Bounce the candle in the Teferi. Lovely. Replay the candle. Untap some lands. Merchant scroll. We'll go get blue sun zenith. Target ourselves for 18. Actually... I'm going to be a little conservative here. I'm going to leave up double hard cast fours. 12 cards should win the game. All right. High tide. High tide. It actually wasn't very good. Uh, maybe I should have looked before casting those tides. Merchant scroll. Play another land. We will merchant scroll. Grab the blue sun zenith. Play a candle. 20 mana. Untap, untap. Oh, we have plenty of mana here. We can filter out and bounce the candles. It's a little click intensive, but we do have like a lot of mana here. Apparently I misclicked. Try that again. All right. So now we will Zenith loading a lot of mana. All right. Zenith for 42 targeting them. Sweet. That was only game one and I'm down to 11 minutes. Ay ay ay. Board out one filter out again. Bring in dress downs. Board out one candle. Let's go. The one land mystic sanctuary hand. I don't think that's what we want. I guess we'll keep this and put a filter out on the bottom. Deca, I am asking you to draw running islands. Will you please listen? Green sun for zero. That was not a land. I don't appreciate that. That's a collect roof. There's two artifacts in our deck, so we don't really care about this, and we have the dress down. There we go. Brainstorm. Put back one merchant scroll, and... Honestly, the dress down. We just don't need that card right now. Ponder. I think I'll shuffle that. Brainstorm's obviously a powerful card, but I don't want to brainstorm into two lands. On our end step, the opponent casts their own copy of Brainstorm. Four mana. Green Sun for Leobold. Yeah, this is me getting punished for not holding up Fluster. And I put the dress down back like a real dummy. Okay. They're attacking for six, five? Okay, five. I'll go to 11. And they ponder. Pretty quick shuffle on that one. Draw. Force of Will. Not looking good here. Play the Delta. I don't know. I was thinking that maybe I put Ponder on top to find the dress down, but that, that takes a full turn. I don't even think I want to make that play. Yeah, I feel like I threw this game. I not only got rid of dress down, I also like tapped out a Fluster Storm against the Green Sun deck. That was just dumb. Okay. Dress down. Next game. I'm going to bring in one Echoing Truth over the fourth dress down, just so that way I can get it with Blue, uh, Merchant Scroll. Maybe I take out the filter out, actually, and keep all four 
So uh, I already hit submit. Mulligan. I guess so. This hand is not very good. Bottom of Force of Will. We need lands. Keep both of these. Our opponent goes Tropical Island into Ponder. Ponder ourselves? I mean, I do want more lands. Okay. I don't think I'm going to draw the fourth land. I mean, I do want a fourth land, but we have to find Time Spiral too. Merchant Scroll. I think I'm just going to grab Brainstorm with this. They played Brainstorm on her end step. Deafening Silence. I have one Filter Out, one Echoing Truth. I'm not really ready to win yet, but the problem is that they could just counter spell those things later. Force Pitch Force. Okay. We're going to attempt to fluster, and if this doesn't work, we're probably just dead. Alright, you have four cards. My Force of Will. And you had a lot of stuff. Alright, so we're in trouble. Draw for turn. Brainstorm. Okay. We have two answers to this Deafening Silence, and they're low on resources. Another Deafening Silence. So we need our Echoing Truth to resolve. We'll Mystic Sanctuary. Put Merchant Scroll on top. Merchant Scroll. Echoing Truth. They have three cards in hand. I mean, if they have interaction here, I'm just dead. Okay. Attempt Echoing Truth through Deafening Silence. Force of Will. Yeah, sure. If I have one filter out, uh, I could have dressed down to stop them from drawing a card there. That was probably dumb. Okay. Yeah, I just let them draw a card for no reason. That was stupid. Ponder. Shuffle. Okay. They have one card in hand. And it's a Force of Will. <laughs> You're... Last card in hand shouldn't be a force of will. Come on. You've already used a bunch of interaction. Well, our brainstorm is not very good. We'll put those cards back. Draw for turn. It's another time spiral. I think I'm supposed to try to beat out the force of will with a time spiral. And if it resolves, it actually shuffles back in another answer to these deafening silences. So it's not even the end of the world. And they are going to hard cast their force of will. It's number three. Merchant scroll for our fadeaway would probably do it here. Uh, should I just spiral? Is that crazy? I guess I can give myself another draw step or two. I don't have to do it immediately. Or filter out. I think I just called it the wrong card name. It's fine. I'm at five. All right. Well, time is running out. Draw. Preordain. Uh, I think I'm dead. Brutal. I took the chance on preordain finding filter out there rather than spiraling and giving them a full fresh hand. Green Sun for Leovold. I'm officially out. Okay, that's brutal. This has been a very, very long grindy league. I feel like I've been playing for two hours at this point. We're only three matches in. Two matches left. We're one, two. Stick around. Maybe we'll turn this boat around. The Command Tower software by Eminence Gaming is perfect for hosting your own magic events with features such as easy to create event registration for four player and one on one Swiss based games. Event management has never been so simple and it's done on the web. No downloads are required. You can sign up for $5 by visiting eminence.events slash subscribe. Match four. Hopefully the rest of this league goes by a little bit faster. Ay ay ay. I can't handle the, these 45 minute rounds every round. It's late. I'm tired. I'm going to SCG Baltimore in a couple weeks and I'm trying to record extra videos to build up a queue and uh, running myself a little bit ragged it feels like. I think I'm going to play out this candle early. I usually don't, but we're sort of low on resources with this hand and I can protect it with force of will. I don't know. Chalice of the Void on zero. You've got it. Sure. Where's the saga? I will not play any spells that cost zero. Grab another island. Put some merchant scroll. Grab brainstorm. I guess the saga can go get needle for my candle, but that's not the end of the world. Turnabout. 
Cast the brainstorm looking for land three. We did not find it. Put back one force of will and the merchant scroll. Preordain. These both can go on the bottom. Land? No such luck. They make a construct and now the saga will disappear. So will they make another construct? The answer is yes. And then they get to search their library for an artifact. So if they have a mean deck needle, they can name my candle. They grab a Mox Opal. For Schadenport, what? Just like Steel Stompy over there? Attempt to draw? So hear me out. I could go for it right here. I think I'm going to. High Tide. All right. So let's see if we can draw land. We did. We'll fetch. Turn about targeting me. On tap our lands. Now we go up to six mana. I get brainstorm looking for another high tide here. I think I'm going to do that. Another candle isn't the worst. Ponder. Shuffle. Play the candelabra. On tap our three lands. Time spiral. High tide. Brainstorm. Put two lands back. Let's spiral again. Blue Sun Zenith. High Tide. Untap some lands. And we'll Zenith. Draw eight cards. Preordain. Filter out's very good here. Cast the filter out. Bounces our candles. Oh, I shouldn't have played the other. Uh, candle because I lost out on five mana by playing it too early. I'm sorry, four mana. Let's brainstorm. The two lands back. Merchant scroll. Grab another high tide. Cast it. Uh, I could have just went and got brain freeze. I didn't even look at what my storm count was. I'm sorry. Like I mentioned, it's late and I'm exhausted. Second video of the day. Preordane. And there's brain freeze. Target you. Storm 20 Brain Freeze. A little bit overkill. We're facing some sort of prison deck. Maybe I should bring in the Force Indigations after not doing it in match one and being punished. 65 cards. It's so much interaction. I don't think I am. It's just too much. We'll do three dress down. Game two? No. Not keeping. Uh, I guess I could keep this bottoming the brain freeze. Ancient Tomb. Mox Diamond. It's rid of a swamp. What's going on here? Find the great creator on turn one, huh? <laughs> sure. Liquid Metal Coating. You know what? Honestly, that is good enough for a win here. I'm going to concede. I'm not going to be able to beat that. So, I was wrong. I guess we do want these Force Indigations. Classic me being wrong. And I'm going to board out the Dress Downs. And one candle. Let's try this. Game three on the play. Sure. Basic Island, Cast Ponder. We'll shuffle those away. A Wasteland, not very good against the Mono Island deck. Or we'll... We drew Echoing Truth. We're going to Merchant Scroll for a High Tide here. Drawing a blue card for our Force Indigation was fairly huge, but we need to make a couple turns here so I can High Tide into Spiral. Yeah, these Wastelands, uh, not doing a whole lot. Yeah, Chalice is fine. We can bounce that on the end step with Echoing Truth. Pass the turn. Grim Monolith is fine. Trinisphere. I'll counter that. Filter out. What a great draw. So we'll play the Flooded Strand here because if need be, I can go grab the, um, whatever it's called, Mystic Sanctuary. Trinisphere is fine. Filter out. Draw for turn. So maybe this is me being, being a little bit paranoid, but I kind of don't want to cast both High Tides due to Mind Break Trap. This kind of like awful deck seems like the kind of deck that would also be playing Mind Break Trap for no reason. So I think I'm going to just spiral for Storm 2. Okay. Uh, let's cast Brainstorm. Put back two lands. High Tide. Merchant Scroll. 
grab turnabout we'll ponder take the brainstorm merchant scroll grab the blue sun zenith turnabout targeting me land on tap going to brainstorm put back two lands ponder shuffle each land taps for three all right let's zenith draw 10. so i hit another tide i can cast spiral but i don't have any other on tap effects brain freeze would currently mill 39 cards I can also just say, like, hey, I think I will be able to ponder Brainstorm into enough spells. I think I'd rather do that than rely on Time Spiral. Preordain. Let's cast that. From 14. Sweet. All right, two and two. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as seven tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. The final match of the league, we're on the draw and I will keep. Uh-oh, eight cast. Island Ponder. I think I have to shuffle this, unfortunately. Like, I want these cards, but if they play a Chalice of the Void, like, these are terrible. Another land. Okay. There's a Saga. And there's the Chalice of the Void. I have five cards. Merchant Scroll. We'll grab Filter out, but I'm not super confident in our position. They play another land. They still haven't played any zeros yet, which is a little bit odd. Uh, they might have been holding them in case they have a Psy, but I'm not really sure what they're doing here. Another Merchant Scroll for Force of Will is pretty good. Okay. So they've created a large construct. We'll fetch just to make sure that our land doesn't get hit by Needle. Sure. They grab a Mox Opal. Five cards in hand. This might actually race me before I can filter out into a win. Yeah, that's a thought cast. They use an Urza's Bobble. And Emery, sure. Chalice of the Void for zero. So they're attacking for eight. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be able to win this. Okay. So these this would be eight damage, assuming that everything works my way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's just no chance. They play an Ancient Tomb. Yeah. Because I have to filter out to stay alive, and then they can just replay the chalices. Attempt the filter out. Our opponent is going to hard cast a force here, and we can go to game two. Actually, I just messed up. I should have fought over this. Uh, sorry, I'm just like a little frustrated. Um, but I should have fought here, because our opponent... They likely have another force in hand based on this play, but let's pretend that they messed up. I would force this. They couldn't recast the chalices, and then it gives me an opportunity to try to win. So I should have made them show me the extra force instead of just like being frustrated at the fact I was getting crushed so badly. Um, my bad. Uh, play poorly when you're not, you know, I don't know. So we'll bring in the dress downs, bring in echoing truths. We probably want the force negations. Get rid of the flusters. I don't think that those are cards that actually help us with the what the matchup is actually about. We'll get rid of the Mystic Sanctuary and Preordains. On the play for game two. Uh, I guess so. We need to draw lands. So if I'm being honest, I keep on tricking myself myself into playing these high tide decks, and I'm not sure if they're actually competitive enough for Legacy anymore. Even with like sweet upgrades like Dress Down and Filter Out. I'm just not convinced that they're on the right power level at this point in time. Legacy's just like such a hateful format between Leovold and Narset and Collector Roof and Child. Like, if you look at this league, every deck has been like person pieces plus uh, blue cards. Like, every single one of them. And I missed on my land. That's awkward. All right, Ponder. No such luck. Shuffle. Okay. Ancient Tomb, Chalice of the Void. 
We're going to force a negation this so that way they can't recast it with Emery. Exile the dress down. I tie, we need lands though. That is a land. Pass the turn. Okay, I guess like the weird black Karn deck wasn't a prison plus counter magic deck, but it was still a prison deck. And there's Emery. You got it. Did not mill a chalice of the void. Draw the dress down. Can we find land three? There we go. Put back the extra spiral and the dress down. Hers is bobble. And they pay three mana for thought cast. I'm okay with that happening. Hers is saga. Sure. On their end step, we're going to cast brainstorm. What we want to find off it is land four plus blue card. And that does it. High tide. That resolved, we'll cast another high tide. All right, let's pray for a miracle that this resolves. So eight cast plays force of negation, it plays force of will, and it plays metallic rebuke. This Urza's bobble still in play likely represents metallic rebuke, but I can't afford to wait any longer. So we're just going to jam force of will pitching Emery. We will force of will removing ponder. Time spiral. Does it actually resolve? Wow, it does. Cast another high tide. That for four, we'll play a brainstorm. We'll put back a brainstorm here. We just don't need it. Candelabra. And they're going to fight over this. I'll force a negation. Firm is currently 10. Merchant scroll. We'll go grab brain freeze. Ponder. We'll take the force of negation. Okay. We'll blue sun zenith them. Holding priority for. I should cancel this. How much do I actually need to do it for? So zenith would be storm 13. Brain freeze would be storm 14. This is 13, 14. So the zenith only needs to be for a few. Cancel. Hold priority. Zenith targeting them. Only needs to be for like four. And then we'll brain freeze them. We can hard cast both forces. And now the Zenith resolves. Okay, so we took game number two from eight cast. Resubmit. Game three, we'll keep. They play a bobble. Mox Opal. Chalice of the Void. I am going to attempt a force of will that. Draw for turn. It's another Echoing Truth. You might have been saying, well, why not let it resolve, then eventually bounce with Echoing Truth and win? Well, it stops me from casting spells like Ponder to find myself in a position where I can possibly win. So that's why. We'll keep these. I mean, I have to find a high tide and untap effect at some point anyway. Emery, this was the uh, the downside of Force Willing the Chalice. Okay. Play the Polluted Delta. I think I kind of want to just bounce the Emery again. Just make them keep on milling their cards. All right, deck, I'm asking you for a time spiral. Pretty please. Emery's back. And they pass the turn with three cards. We find turnabout. Replay the candle. And now I think that I'm forced to just sit on this Echoing Truth. Because if I bounce the Emery again, I have a one turn window to draw the time spiral. Yep, you've got it. Draw for turn. I just checked. We did board out the Mystic Sanctuary. We cannot fetch for it. Not that I'd want to grab an Echoing Truth here anyway, but just good to know. They play a Mistress Bobble from the graveyard using Emery. Lotus Petal. Another Lotus Petal. Yep, a Cannon here. Okay, so... They have one card in hand. This could be my window. So next turn they're attacking for seven, eight, nine, ten at the bare minimum. And then they can cash in all their bobbles for counter magic. Like this is actually is a pretty good spot if I can spike it. Okay, we'll attempt to bounce the chalice. And if I don't hit it, we're dead. But this is a, a better spot. So if you wait one turn, they get a draw step plus two draws off bobbles to stop you. Is your last card Metallic Rebuke? Okay, pretty please, deck. 
Let's fetch just to thin our deck a little bit. For all, I missed the window. All right. So we went to three. My honest feedback is that Spring Tide, or whatever you like to call it, Spiral Tide, is a fun deck for Legacy. Uh, I do think Filter Out was an upgrade. I don't know if you need two of them in the main deck. So maybe you play it as like a Merchant Scroll target, and you don't end up playing two. And then you can go back to not playing Candles. The Candles were a little bit lackluster, in my opinion. I expected that interaction with Filter Out to be a little more prominent. We did do it a few times, but it wasn't as good as I had hoped. I do think that main deck dress down is pretty sweet, so I'd probably run those again, but I, you know, changed some numbers. Uh, I don't really feel like those things impacted our league. We faced a lot of blue decks with prison pieces, and that just crushed us. So that's legacy these days. Love it or hate it. That's what the format is. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. I'm going to go to bed now. Uh, have a great day and keep storming. Hey, Brand Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.